Hey air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. This is your message for the week of December 26th through January 2nd, give or take a couple of days. It is a very general message, you guys. So please keep that in mind that it may not be your message this week um, or it might not entirely resonate with you. So just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. Um, air signs, so just the intuitive message for you guys. I feel like it's either... Someone in your environment um, is telling you what you want to hear this week or you feel like someone is just telling you what you want to hear um, or maybe you're just convincing yourself or telling yourself, you know, things that you want to hear. But I, I got that as an intuitive message for you guys. Um, song choice. So the first song I got for you is Circles by Post Malone. And then I got Go Crazy by Chris Brown. Um, so whether this is just you, okay, air signs, or you in regards to like a relationship or some sort of dynamic, um, it's kind of like you keep finding yourself coming back to the same conclusion or back to the same person or back to the same space or like level or opportunity. It's, it feels like you're you're running circles, like you keep coming back to the same something here. So you could be realizing that this week. Um, I do feel like it's a person or this is someone in regards to you or this is mutual. It's like you guys keep trying to part ways, but you keep uh, coming back to the same person or being back in some sort of alignment of something or someone you are familiar with. Um, with the Go Crazy song, I do feel like this could be you or someone um, in your environment, their thoughts of you, like they're going crazy about the thought of you or the thought of like, you know, whatever dynamic you have, whatever relationship you have, whatever's going on here feels like it's a cycle, like something is just around and around and around or um, maybe this is something or someone you've let go of bef before and it's like this person is coming back around or you keep running into someone or you keep seeing certain like signs and synchronicities. You keep hearing the same thing, um, hearing the same message, seeing the same numbers. Something keeps finding its way back to you, whether this is a person, a synchronicity, whatever it is. Okay. Or you keep finding your way back to something or someone. So let's see. Go ahead and like the video, you guys. Comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Um, okay, so you have card number 44. We're going to start off with an Oracle card from the Sacred Rebel Oracle deck. We're going to go into the energy cards and then a regular tarot spread. Um, but card number 44. So first off, this is a double number. So 44 could be um, some sort of like synchronicity for you. You could be seeing fours a lot or seeing doubles. It's something that's very repetitive or coming back around or it's just... Um, something, I kind of feel like you've tried to shake whatever this is, but it's like you can't shake it. Or if this is someone else in your environment, they're having this issue in regards to you. Um, and then with the visions of life beyond death, um, just emphasis on visions. I feel like someone can't get you out of their mind. Okay. Actually seeing you or memory of you or thinking of you, missing you, or this is you in regards to someone else. Someone could also be like dreaming of you. Okay. Are you them with the visions of life beyond death? I kind of feel like this is something, um, that may have ended before, or you let go of before, or again, something you've been trying to like detach yourself from. Um, but there's still something there or it keeps reoccurring. Okay. Maybe it's a lesson that you need to learn. Um, but something just keeps reoccurring for you guys this week. Okay. We also have trust yourself and we have focus on the light and then restore and replenish releasing allegiances. So, um, be the hunter, not the hunted. Um, so maybe you need to trust yourself to let something go. For some of you guys, this could just be some sort of repetitive cycle that's getting away of your healing process or that's draining you, something that's going on. This could even just be you um, overthinking um, or worrying, something going on with your mental and emotional. And I feel like you need to give yourself a break this week. Okay, so take it however you um, resonate with this message. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. Um, something about just timing though, and a clock here as well. 
Um, or there's something about like you know that something is gonna come back around. I'm getting I'm getting like um the number 10 or like will of fortune vibes. It's like you know that something is for you, okay? Um, but there could just be blockages in the way, things that's getting in between you and this, you and this go, you and this person, this relationship. Um, it's almost like you can see the bigger picture or someone around you feels as if they can see the bigger picture, but maybe you feel like this is just a repetitive back and forth. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below how it resonates for you. We do have anxiety here. Card number 18, anxiety. We have the second chakra and we have the healer of the ages. I feel like you, um, could be having some sort of fear or anxiety. There's something that possibly that you really want or really want to happen, or you really want you really want to heal. It's like something that you want it to really be right this time. That's what I'm hearing. Hill of the Ages, Cornucopia, Envy, Storm Warning, Door to Romance. But it's like you fear opening yourself up to this person or the situation. Okay, so maybe there's just a fear of like the past repeating itself. That's why I'm getting the circles and around and around. Um... Be cautious that you aren't inviting this energy in, like you aren't manifesting your biggest fears by, you know, fearing it, by actually worrying about it and giving energy to whatever this is that you don't want to happen, but you're afraid that it could happen again, okay? We got the first chakra here and we got happy family. So it could be in regards to just your stability, emotional fulfillment, a family, a home dynamic, um, your parents, your children. I don't know why I'm picking up on like motherly energy or just a cancer with this happy family, all right, so let's see, Spirit. What do we have for the air signs for this week? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with the energy? What do we need to know for my air signs this week? Let's see. Okay, so we have Blossoming Abundance. Caring connection. So right off the bat, when I saw this, I'm hearing too good to be true. And I just told you guys, like, I'm um, the intuitive message was something about, like, telling me, like, you feel like someone's telling you what you want to hear. It's like you really don't, as bad as you might want something, you don't fully trust it or you don't fully believe in it. Okay. And I think, um, who was it? I can't remember which element had that same energy. Uh, fire signs. You could be dealing with the fire sign possibly. But blossoming abundance, caring connections, the garden and the gate, okay? The third chakra is like you're holding back from actually like giving yourself to this or someone's holding back from you or taking some sort of action here. It's like you don't trust it. And then victory, but you want it to be victorious. I feel like it actually has the potential to be um but something here is almost like it's too good to be true or it's something like that going on for you guys then look at this cornucopia like it's happiness it's victory and success blossoming abundance caring connections um but it's like you're holding yourself back you don't trust it i don't know if it's um you know because of past situations with this particular person or just the past in general storm warning you feel like it's something that you're afraid to open up yourself to because you feel like it's just gonna let you down or um you don't want to you're having trouble being vulnerable with the storm warning and a woman holding the heart and then all tied up magician and angel of balance and decision i feel like you're trying to balance out how you feel about a situation or a person or just something internal um but you're struggling a little bit you're struggling a little bit i do see you potentially coming out of this energy this week not sure exactly you know what's gonna happen to make that happen for you we got the sun card happiest card in the deck could be dealing with the leo door to value and man holding the coin this is stability that's here it it feels like i don't know maybe this change has come all of a sudden or this person whatever's happening is all of a sudden and it's like you don't really or it's coming very easy now. Maybe it was difficult before. So something about it, it's like you're just, you're not fully trusting it though. Um, this visions of life beyond death could be a message for you. Yeah, because you had to trust yourself behind that. Focus on the light. It's like you need to focus on the good things this week, okay? Or the lighter side of a situation, a connection, a relationship. Um, you're needing to like think outside of the box or just think past whatever death, right? Death is transformation. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. It's like something or someone has transformed, okay? And maybe it took a couple of trials to get to this point or it was really rocky. So you can't really open up 
up to it, but it's some sort of transformation. I feel like you need to try to, or you're trying to work on um, letting go of this guard or this fear, this anxiety that you're experiencing this week, okay? We got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this is making amends. This is reconciliation. This is happiness. We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy, King of Cups, your energy, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, judgment behind that. I feel like somebody has put a lot of thought into... Um, maybe how they handled you or some decisions that they've made in regards to you, or this is you just in regards to your life or someone else. Um, and someone here has made the decision to change. I kind of feel like it feels genuine, like they want to manifest some sort of growth or stability with you. Okay. Or you are trying to manifest, um, whoever this empress or empress is for you could be a mother, father figure, somebody you feel is very valuable. It's like, you're trying to, um, revive something okay you're trying to um passion ignite it that's the card that i'm thinking of in this this oracle deck it's like you're trying to re reignite the passion here okay again either within yourself or with somebody else so let's see spirit what messages do we have for the air science this week what messages and it could be um because i feel like maybe you could see the bigger picture but the other person can't or vice versa somebody here is struggling with it but we got the magician so you could be dealing with a virgo um or a gemini then i saw the moon card as well it's like somebody's trying to wash away the past or whatever happened in the past here so that they can move forward page of swords ten of swords yeah so that they can move forward because they're holding back currently all right wanting to get to a situation couple more shuffles for my air signs this week spirit and then we will cut and pull the energy what's going on with my air signs this week ten of wands okay so a very heavy burden but it feels like this could be the end to something that was very heavy a lot of baggage um again i feel like it's been a couple of cycles or a couple of rounds you dealing with whatever this is whoever this is let me see page of wands okay so going from the ten of wands which is you know the heaviest load the heaviest burden to the page of wands this is some sort of good news or a new spark or just a spark in a better direction here and page of cups so you got two pages okay a lot of new energy showing up can be in regards to love let me see king of swords this damn judgment card again. Okay. Aries, Taurus energy. Um, let me see. Nine of cups. Ooh, it's like you are someone's wish fulfillment or something. Um, something that you might not trust right now. Okay. It's going to be very much so, um, fulfilling for you emotionally. Someone's also thinking about like how to make you happy or how to bring some sort of like life back into whatever this is. Okay. Or this is you. Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, King of Swords, Knight of Swords. There's something like someone's been heavily thinking about in regards to you or you them. But Knight is like movement. This person is wanting to say something to you. We got the Two of Cups and then we got the Five of Cups. It's like someone wants to explore certain options with you um, or someone is wanting some sort of connection with you. But I feel like you just aren't feeling as confident. Maybe you've already let go of the hopes of the situation or you're just struggling with doing so or just not really in a good space. It's kind of like you don't know how to feel about whatever this is that's going on for you, um, Air Science, this week. We got the page of cups, nine of cups, five of cups. It's a lot of water here. So you could be dealing, it's a lot of water here. Two of cups too. Could be dealing with the water sign. Um, we have some of everybody. We don't have earth here. Okay. We got the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a decision. There's something that's just been heavy on your mind. Okay. And I feel like you're making a decision this week. Okay. Or someone's making a decision in regards to you. Seven of wands is standing your ground. King of Pentacles, Hangman, Six of Swords, Devil. It's kind of like someone's trying to hold on to you or you're trying to hold on to them. The energy is really weird. Let me see what this, um, what's the Seven of Wands for my air signs this week, Spirit? What's the Seven of Wands for my air signs? 
Ooh, so we got the lover's card popped out here. Gemini energy, it actually flipped in the reverse. So it's like you have your guards up, okay? you It's either you have your guards up against someone or someone has their guards up, up against you. Or it's like you are avoiding making some sort of choice here in regards to love or just some sort of decision. Star card could be dealing with an Aquarius. What else is this seven of wands spirit? Will of fortune. I felt that energy. Ooh, this is like an old lover maybe coming back around. What's this? Like trying to um, change your judgment or change your mind. Ace of Swords, trying to change your mind. I feel like you are really against something or somebody's energy is very defensive and, and blocked off towards you. Because we got the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Like somebody here... I can't tell which side of the coin you're on. Someone here is not trying to hear it and walking away with this Eight of Cups. It could be this water sign if you're dealing with a water sign. Tower, Six of Pentacles. It's like somebody is turning down your offer or vice versa. What's this judgment card? Because we got Page of Wands, Judgment, and a Two of Cups. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. It's almost like... Um, I feel like you're fighting for something or you're going for something, but it's like someone's mind has already been made up or it's vice versa. However, it's resonating for you. All right, judgment. So we got the seven of pentacles wanting to invest empress into this empress mother figure or father figure. Five of wands, but there's conflict. Five of pentacles, okay, feeling lonely. Justice card, ten of pentacles, ace of uh, Feels like it's a lot on the line here. Star card, like you really want this. There's something that you really want. Knight of Wands is something or someone that you're very passionate about also. Let's see. What's the Ten of Wands? What's the Ten of Wands for my air signs? What's this Ten of Wands energy for my air sign spirit? Yes, yeah, dealing with love. It's the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. The World Card, High Priestess, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords. Something here is over. Something about the number 10. What else is this 10 of wands? Six of cups. This is the past here. It's like maybe um, you still hold love for someone from your past here. Okay, secretly or you feel like you have to like, I don't know if you've been hiding how you truly feel towards someone. And this week it's like you're expressing it. Um... But there's something about being dissatisfied, not getting the outcome that you've hoped for. This is someone in regards to you. Maybe an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What's going on with this two of cups spirit? Two of cups for my air signs. King of wands. Somebody wants this. What's going on? It could be a fire sign. Ten of swords. Yeah, if somebody wants to renew something or someone wants a second chance, someone's still desiring something or someone, but the other person just doesn't see it that way. It's like two total opposite ends of the coins or it's like you're on two uh, different pages with someone here because it's King of Wands, Ten of Swords, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody sees you as like wifey, valuable, chariot, Queen of Cups though. Some, the energy is all over the place. Um... Mm, I don't know. It's two feminine energies here. And I'm seeing this King of Pentacles is a bit messy. And a full card in the reverse. You could be closed off to someone because I don't know if they're involved with someone else here. Y'all got to let me know how this is resonating because I'm kind of seeing that or I'm just seeing... Um, somebody strongly desiring you or you strongly desiring someone, but they are just so adamant about not being open to this connection or this idea or whatever this is. What is this five of cups? What's this five of cups? And then I'll pull some cards from the Psychic Oracle deck for you guys to wrap it up. What's this five of cups spirit for my air signs this week? Three of Swords, the Emperor. I feel like whoever the masculine energy is here, um, it's the one that's let down or disappointed or heartbroken. Queen of Swords, yeah. Because you, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody's being cut out here. Someone, um, this could be a father figure. 
This is it's just a very cold energy here. What else is this five of cups? What else is this five of cups? Somebody's not wanting to let go though. That was the knight of pentacles when this come out. What else is this five of cups spirit for my air signs? Yeah, is this the yep yeah, star card Aquarius energy? Night of somebody so desperately wants to heal things with you, but I don't know if this is something that just you feel as if this can't be repaired or this other person feels this way. Ace of Wands, somebody wants to heal something here. Devil card, high priestess, hierophant, devil, high priestess, ooh, queen of wands. Let's pull some, um some psychic oracle cards it's like somebody is really wanting to hold on to you like someone here feels as if this has a lot of potential this can be worked out this can grow and the other person is just not so much throw chakra at the bottom of the deck love begins and mental conflict maybe it's like you needing to open up to someone else emotional withdrawal someone needs to tell you that they have moved on or that that they have moved on okay um, or maybe they've told you this already and you just didn't believe it or vice versa. Okay. Movement choices and decisions. And I saw new beginnings. Um, mm, something about somebody moving on and like someone else being heartbroken about it. All right. So let's see, Spirit. What final messages do we have for the air signs this week? What messages from the Psychic Oracle deck? Ooh, that firm foundation. Did y'all see the way it spun around? And look at this spiritual union. Like, it's something about, like, this being, it feels like a very, um, it feels like a, a twin flame type of karmic relationship. Like, it's so much difficulty here. I really can't even pinpoint what's going on. But someone, it's like, no matter how much you tell them no with this firm foundation, like it flips back up in the upright. Say, somebody really wants this. Um, or there's just like a real strong attraction here. Memories of love. Look at this. I can't make this up. All right. A couple of more shuffles. I can't even get discontent and boredom, material heart. Somebody wants you bad. Like, all right, spirit. Let's see. Final messages for my air signs this week. Final messages for my air signs this week. We got the light card. Okay, financial material changes. It's like trying, it's difficulty here. Hope, but then we have heartache and loss and we have wisdom. Something about a Taurus could be significant and we got the heart chakra. Something, it's like something's pulling on your heartstring or it keeps pulling you back in alignment with this person or this lesson or this situation here. Y'all let me know in the comment section how this resonates for you. I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.